what they're doing. One interesting feature about MOOCs is that in the United States, where they're most advanced, well, they're being led by the biggest names in higher education, places like Harvard and Yale. Whilst here in Britain, some of our biggest names are holding back. Here at Oxford, they say that MOOCs won't prompt them to change anything that they do. Is this clever brand management, or could they miss the boat? Oxford delivers degrees in a way which really sets a premium on the, the tutorial experience and the teaching on a one-to-one -one or two-to-one -one basis. Other universities already deliver a lot of their courses, primarily through lectures. MOOCs are a further extension of that. But you have to accept, I think, how, you know, however exciting the concept of the MOOC is, that there is necessarily some loss when you're not in a person-to-person -person environment. The MOOC, from my perspective, can never really substitute for that. People are giving this stuff away for free, so who could have a problem with that? Except, what if this is the big disruptive technology that's about to rip through higher education in the way that MP3s did through music or the Amazon did through book selling? There are certainly some big thinkers who, who believe that the cost of higher education is going to have to come down and MOOCs are one way to achieve that. Recently, Bill Clinton said, I think the only sustainable answer is to find a less expensive delivery.